Hey everyone, so my girlfriend told me to clean the sink today, so I decided to put that off and instead do some chemical work. So you can see the sink's over there, so anytime I get near the kitchen sink we're going to do some chemical stuff. This is pretty, uh, pretty mundane and nothing here that's really going to cause you to get too sick or anything like that. Actually, it's, it's all, this is all really mundane. We're going to do caffeinol film developing today. So here's my caffeinol kit. We need, uh, this is uh, instant coffee. Now one thing about this, you can use any brand instant coffee. I used whatever was cheapest at the dollar store. Um, it has to be caffeinated, so just make sure you're using caffeinated coffee. This is ascorbic acid powder. I believe that's uh, vitamin C, pretty sure. Anyway, this is uh, ascorbic acid powder. One cup of uh, washing soda. You cannot use baking soda. Baking soda is CHO2, something like that. That's got one fewer atom on some molecule somewhere. Um, so you got to use washing soda, not baking soda. You can convert baking soda into washing soda with heat, but it's a pain in the bum. You might as well just uh, go up and spend 10 cents more than the baking soda costs and buy a whole bunch of washing soda. I got that off eBay for 99 cents plus two dollars in shipping. So we're not talking about something expensive. The ascorbic acid was about the same price um, and then this was a buck. So, And I already run a bunch of film with this so this is really a lot. It's enough to last us for a while. And now here I have a roll of Lucky Brand 100 ISO film. It's 120. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna go sp put this on a spool and put it into a um, single 120 roll tank or a double 35 millimeter roll tank to give you an idea of the size we're going to use. This has to be mixed right before you use it. So I have here a measuring cup that I'm going to use to mix. And when I'm not using the measuring cup to mix, this is what I store everything in. So that's why it's my kit. Um, and it's good to keep this stuff together. So anyway, we're going to come back in a minute and this will be ready to go. Okay, we're back. It's a little bit darker, and that's because uh, in addition to the one roll of 120 that I'm going to develop in the caffeinol, I also had uh, four other rolls of 120 and four rolls of 35 millimeter that I decided to develop in Microdol X. So I'm going to be doing a lot of film tonight, but I'm not going to I'm not going to do the Microdol stuff as part of this video. That was just an aside. Anyway. Um, so what I'm going to be, there are a number of different caffeinol recipes, and the one that I've selected for this is caffeinol C. That's the one I've used before successfully. Uh, it's also the one I have the ingredients for right now, and it's also the one I have ingredients for in tablespoons and not in grams, and I don't have a scale, so grams doesn't really work for me. Excuse me. So there's also caffeinol CH, CI, CL, and CM. And there are various formulations. You can find them online. You can try them out. C, L, and C, I, I believe, also require borax um, or some other ingredient that I don't have. Maybe bromine, I forget. Some other ingredient I don't have readily available. I like this recipe also because it's completely non-toxic and safe. And you'll read a lot of people who say that caffeinol stinks. And in the times I've made it with this recipe, that's not the case. It smells kind of like old coffee. So get your pen and paper ready, and I'm going to give you the recipe right now. I'm going to use 8 ounces of water, 2 and 1 half level teaspoons of the washing soda over here. A vitamin C powder is going to be 1 quarter tablespoon. And then the coffee crystals, again, caffeinated, not decaf will be four slightly rounded teaspoons. Okay, so you're going to need a quarter teaspoon measure if you have it, and a teaspoon measure. You're also going to need uh, eight ounces of water. If you, um, if you want to make caffeinol CMI, you can do that by adding iodine salt, which I do not have. Uh, and that's just another recipe. Uh, someday I'll I'll experiment with it and do other videos on them, but I, uh, I don't have that right now. So anyway, so I'm going to start off with 8 ounces of water. And this is just the standard water filter that I use. It's a, uh, a home wa grade water filter. That's like 9 ounces. That's okay. That's close enough. It's just a home grade water filter. You don't have to go out and spend money on anything demineralized or anything like that. Okay. 
tablespoon. That looks like a tablespoon. Ooh, that one's got promise. Come on. Uh, come on. Come on. That's it. Come on, get out of there. Quarter teaspoon. Excellent. This one, what's this one? Uh, qu quarter. I've got two quarter teaspoon measures. That's, that's great. Alright, I've got two, I've got a, I don't know why I own two quarter teaspoon measures. Like, they were in the back of my drawer. I don't even ever use these things. Okay. So, we need two and a half level teaspoons of washing soda. And there's hair in the water. Fabulous. Let's start over with the water. So one thing to make sure of is that your plastic jug is clean before you start adding the ingredients or whatever you want to mix this in. Make sure it's clean. Lesson learned. Okay, so we need how much of this? Two and a half teaspoons of washing soda. That's pretty close. Splash. And that's probably good enough. That looks like a half to me. Uh, there we go. That's a half. We'll call that a half. Okay. Washing soda off to the side. Vitamin C powder. We need one quarter teaspoon level. So one quarter teaspoon. Oh, well, why is that even open? That's pretty close to level. Now I, I did this once without the vitamin C powder and it did not work. So there is something about the vitamin C pow powder which makes this process work and I'm not a chemist so I don't understand what it is. Um, but uh, I wouldn't do it without the vitamin C. And last is four slightly rounded teaspoons of this stuff. Close enough. Wow, some moisture got in here at some point. Let's hope it still works. Okay, you know that part where I said it doesn't stink? Oh, oh my gosh, that batch stinks. Whew. Milk frother. This is all food grade stuff, so I'm going to, oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah, I, I took... Oh. oh! Oh! Wow. Okay, wow. Yeah, I took my dogs. I took my dogs to the ocean today and had my dogs swimming in the ocean and they stink, but they do not stink as bad as that. That, oh my... Oh. Alright. So we're going to let this sit for about three minutes. And all my neighbors are going to kill me at the end of this because this is this smell is spreading fast. Oh, my eyes. Oh. 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 Okay. We're going to let this sit for about three minutes. Now, you have to use this within half an hour of mixing it. So after it sits, I'm going to run it through a filter funnel, pour it in here, develop it, and, and pour out whatever doesn't fit in this, in this container. And, uh, goodness, don't dilute it. you got to use it at full strength. And um, the next thing you're going to see is the finished results. You use a stop bath or water like you normally would, and then you use fixer like you normally would, and then hang it, and then wash it, and then hang it to dry. So I'm going to cut now to some, um, to some photos that are, come out of this, this exact batch. So if this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up. It lets me know I'm on the right track. And uh, you can subscribe wherever the subscribe button is on the current layout of YouTube. Uh, oh, Jiminy. Um, to, find out, to, to find out when I have new videos, uh, leave any comments below and I'll, or suggestions for future videos. And if I can make the future videos, I will. I'll get back to you as qu quickly as possible. And one last thing, guys. Thank you for watching. I forgot to tell you this. Okay, so this gets developed, this gets put, the film gets put in this for half an hour, for 30 minutes. And make sure you have enough fluid. I actually added about uh, two ounces of fluid to make, to fill up your container. Um, 
And if so, this this is enough for a two roll container. If you if you're doing more, you need to increase the recipe or decrease the recipe ap appropriately. Uh, and as for the smell, my God, it it smells like. Okay, so this one time I went fishing and there was a massive fish kill. All these carp had died, thousands and thousands of carp. And then when I got out of my car, I was like, man, something smells a little bit, a little bit like an, like like an unhygienic seafood rack at a grocery store. It just doesn't smell good. But then when I was like a hundred feet away from the carp, and this is the middle of June, and it's bright and sunny outside, and man, oh, that's what this smells like. That's, this smells like a carp fish kill. Oh. So, have the windows open, not because it's toxic, but because it stinks, and develop for 30 minutes.